should re-engage with the unions. We do not agree with the way they approach this. I think it's a very traditionalist, old-style approach of counting numbers, um, and that if the main unions on side, we could isolate others. And I think the frontline unions got isolated. Frontline workers got isolated, um, particularly in the health sector, and the numbers didn't add up in the end. And uh, so it's a divide and conquer. There's a bit of bribery with the 300 million honeypot and buying off unions and side deals. And then it was threatening at the end, which didn't work either. So I think they should go back to the, the negotiating table uh, and uh, negotiate in good faith um, a, a proper deal. Pat Martin said today that, uh, that you know, the current lobby had a very difficult job ahead of him. And he didn't seem too optimistic that he would get a deal. Um, well, first of all, I think the job gets more difficult for Kieran Mulvey when sort of foolish statements emanate from government around, you know, there's no job security now anymore, allegedly. Uh, that's a red rag to a bull to the people that you want to negotiate with. And so I think, yeah, the job for Kieran Mulvey is being made much more difficult by, I think, pronouncements and leaks emanating from government that I don't think are thought of properly.